6.30 in the morning. Winds have started to change. They're heading to the front of the house right now. I'm on the back side of the house, facing the north, which is that way. We're probably getting, um, I'd have to say, between 60 and 80 mile an hour winds with gusts that are higher. off in the distance over there. All the leaves at the top have been stripped out of that tree. shelter because I'm on the back side of my house so there's a storm at uh, the garage door the front door making all kinds of noise like somebody wants to come in but you know thanks to the good old uh, hurricane shutters here they're metal they're on the front of the house that protects everything we did lose power last night for about an hour and it came back on. It was about 2.30 this morning, about 3.30. Um, so far, we still have power. Uh, so that'll be, that'll be very nice. You can see some of these wind gusts get pretty good. It snapped it right off the hinges. I, I got it put back on there. Uh, I messaged him. Uh, I don't know if he's home or not. I don't see his cars, but they could be in the garage. Uh, try to fix it as best as possible. It's just incredible. I can shoot this on my cell phone. Uh, yeah, it's it's been pretty gnarly. You can see how far that stick right there is supposed to be right with the tree. You see how far the wind has bent that tree over and it busted off the other stick which is laying right down there on that ground. Um, so we're gonna go over here and get in the car. And uh, yeah, a little safety here. All right, well folks, um, I'm in my car. Uh, obviously to try to get it out of the uh, the high winds and uh, it's raining again now uh, was uh, pretty much stop raining but the winds are unbelievable uh, we had did lose power last night about two o'clock in the morning uh, less than an hour uh, but the power keeps flicking on and off constantly so I don't know how long that's going to hold up uh, my generator and all my battery banks are all uh, primed and ready to go if that does take place we are holding up as much as possible right now um, yeah uh, it was a, a very uh, a good storm here the winds were howling all night long it sounded like stuff was like banging against the house or the shutters because they're uh, metal but I don't know um, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna drive around my block here just to see if everybody else's houses are all right because not everybody put up their hurricane shutters and now that the storm has passed we are getting the winds have shifted 
and they're coming out of the south so it hits my house directly right in the front of the house so if you stand on the back porch it's not too bad because the house is blocking everything but if you're standing out front where i just was um yeah it's uh quite a bit of windy uh they're saying we still have gusts of um over 70 miles an hour and a sustained winds of 65 so um it's not supposed to improve till this afternoon once the storm pulls away from us so we'll have to see what happens here folks so ah uh, what a night all right we just drove right down the street this is where i took you guys through yesterday and as you can see, there is debris everywhere. <clears throat> I mean, look at the parking lots over there. They're all covered. Um, over here, they lost their fence. As you can see, that wooden fence didn't last. <clears throat> I don't know how far down we can actually drive around here. I'm going to try it and see what happens. Turn windshield wipers on. You can see all the damage. Over here is all the water. You can hear the wind. You can see all the debris. driving around right now. I think I put my window back up. You can see the see the waves just pumbling out here. The wind down here is really bad. Really, really bad. We got debris. We got debris. I feel like I'm driving through a freaking tornado. Trash, some, somebody's trash cans. We got debris. Holy shit. Oh yeah. I'm gonna take it, there's probably no power down through here. And, uh, there's that boat I was talking about yesterday. She's pretty much sunk. This is where we're gonna stop. I'm not gonna go down any further. So hey guys, so we just went for a little tour around the uh, around the block here. Uh, didn't go far, less than a mile. Just went down, did a little tour around, and came right back just to see what's going on. Uh, see how uh, some of my neighbors have uh, held up. Uh, like I did say, you know, uh, my one neighbor next door here, uh, his gate let go. You ripped the hinges right off the gate. And they're metal. They're steel hinges. It just ripped it right off the gate. So hopefully it holds off as this storm pulls away. We have more rain bands coming in right now. Um, I did sit on the radio when I was out doing a little tour here on my local station here over here in Coco. Uh, they're saying that uh, we are still getting wind gusts up at 285 miles an hour and uh, sustained winds at 65 so it is gnarly out there wasn't i counted about four cars on the road uh one of them was a sheriff uh surprised he didn't stop me and ask me what the hell i was doing out here because um you're not supposed to be out but it's not like i was driving uh you know all over the county trying to find see stuff uh, like i said i did a basically a one mile little tour around 
my general area just to make sure that people I know and stuff are safe and and everything else. So just to keep you posted. Uh, so far, so good. Everybody's doing fine. We're doing well. We're prepared. Power goes out. I got plenty of battery banks, generators, and everything else, so I'm not worried about that. Uh, we do have water and plenty of food. Pays to be a prepper in situations like this when you don't know what these type of storms are going to do. They try to be predict the best they can but it doesn't always work out that way if you get what i'm saying so it is always better to have some supplies and stuff on hand in case of something like this craziness happening in november um this is uh the last storm that hit florida and it was in in november was in 1985 and that hit on the west coast this is the first storm to hit the East Coast in November since back in 1800 and something. Long time. Makes you wonder what's happening. And I think it's the poles are shifting. And I think we're going to start seeing a lot more crazy weather with that taking place. But yet, they don't want to talk about that. It's all climate change. But... The poles are moving. They're switching. One has to wonder. So I'm Survival Preparedness Beginners. I'd like to thank you for joining me on this uh, nice blustery day. As Winnie Pooh used to say. For all you that even know who Winnie the Pooh is. It's a good day. Still alive. Still kicking. That's all we can ask for. So until next time, folks, I'll talk to you all on the flip side. Stay safe out there, all you people here in Florida and everybody up the East Coast. This bad boy's coming for you. Prepare now. Talk to you soon.